Hello everyone. I hope you all are well per usual. I uh, gotta say thank you for all the people, the freedom of speech fighters out there and everybody who fights for the rest of our rights because those are very important too. So I want to talk about the Sussex squad, squad, the dog shite Sussex squad SS police units as I love to endear them. Uh, t it's a term of endearment. So I've made, I've noticed something about the Sussex squad and um, keep NYC mega trash free. She disagree with, she disagrees with me that, um, that, well, I think she disagrees. I think the Sussex squad are they definitely in in my opinion they definitely seem to be and are deflated by this whole thing which because they've had a rough couple months with all the bad press with these two i mean well these two there's always bad press but they actually were at things and did things and you can actually see it you'd have to be brain dead not to not that half of the Sussex squad isn't brain dead but that's that's not what we're here to talk about. So they had the Queen's Jubilee, a that disaster and the fallout from that. They've had everything going on before that. They have his trial, which everything is, everybody thinks is, hit, his court case, which everybody thinks is hideous, except for the sugars and uh, them, you know, get to get his security. He had his big comeback speech at the UN, you know, his big comeback. Um... And, and all of this has been going on during Tom Bauer. So it's been a little hard on the Sussex squad. And I, th I feel like they're deflated. They don't have the energy that they used to have. They're not out defending Megan or, or doing really anything to um, try and make her look good. Sarah Data is flogging some book that even they didn't give a shit about two years ago. Some book, Megan Misunderstood. That's not even, you know, a Megan's a great person book. It's a Megan Misunderstood. There is probably going to be a little bit of a dark undertone in that also because people are able to, most people can add two plus two equals four and just reading the book and anything that comes out about her is still going to paint a very not the greatest picture. Uh, Loopy Lala is where wherever Carolyn Durant is, the author of Funding Free Freebies, Finding Dollars, and she's missing, as HG said. Well, Loopy Lala is out where she is because Loopy Lala hasn't been around all summer. We have the Sussex Squad podcast, who has not made a video in two months, so that would be around maybe beginning when the jubilee was going on perhaps and haven't heard anything since now the Sussex squad podcast i would keep it you know i keep an eye i i don't keep an eye but one of the my main focuses outside of prick harry and what he's doing was the Sussex squad more so than megan so i'm somebody who paid pretty close attention to these people um so I just lost my train of thought. But anyway, so the Sussex Squad podcast, yeah, hasn't done a video in two months. She usually would be spitting venom, trying, you know, defending Megan till the, you know, proverbial death and everything like that. They're not making the noise in defense of Megan that they should be. They're just quiet. The Sussex Squad podcast also has their Twitter uh, private. I know that when, you know, when any of us had our account it's private, we were pretty much like serial killers and, and just that bad of people. Anybody who has their accounts private are awful. Well, she's had her account private for quite some time now. So does that, does that rule apply to everyone or just people that aren't like you? Uh, so I can't see what she's saying, but the worst, the worst, the comments is back aren't vibrant. They're not talking about anything. They're completely deflated. The only thing, there is something that they are talking about is Yankee Wally, but that's not the entire Sussex squad. That's a, like a hand, liter, a literal handful of losers talking about a private citizen that's on a pension. This is where they're at. So no one, they, yeah, literally there's, 
three Twitter accounts and two YouTube accounts, and they're just singular person, and none of them have, not that, you know, I don't like, they don't have any followers, but they don't have any followers. It's just a couple people, so it's not going as far as they're hoping. I would assume, I mean, I, I'm assuming that they want to be doing better than what they're doing. But so, no defense of Megan, no propping up Megan, no nothing. They're just pretty much talking amongst themselves with little to no energy. Um, let me think of, of anything else. They haven't been coming on my, they haven't been coming on my YouTube with their comments, although they haven't for a while. Um, I'm, I don't know that they've been coming on to anywheres. I haven't seen anybody making fun of the Sussex squad like we used to. They're being quiet because there's nothing to talk about them. Like, I'm like, when are these, when are they going to start picking up? Because it's fun to make fun of them. They're deflated. Again, one more time, my list would be the Jubilee, Harry's big comeback flop. Um, oh my God, how pathetic that that was going to be his big comeback. But anyway, Harry's big comeback flop, uh, the, tr the, um, the, the security hearing and Tom Bauer's book all within like two months time. Are they starting to wonder, does this, does, um, my, does my idol suck? And I've never realized it until, until now, except I'm literally scared to death to, to leave the cult I'm in. And that's why they're still even talking to each other. So I don't know, but it's not this, this is not the same Sussex squad that I've met. Their venom has dried up. It's flat, like flat pop, or flat Coke, like a soda. It's, they're flat. So, looking forward to your comments, wondering if you guys, if any of you out there in Twitter zone have noticed the same thing, or, or even are, because I use, I'm somebody who interacted with them. Like, I went and interacted with them because it was funny. So, they're not the same. There's nobody I can even go make fun of. Because the, the people that are talking about Yankee Wall are, are literal losers. Like, people would be like, why are you even talking about these people? So, um, yeah, so let me know in your comments. Thanks.